Over the last 10 years, classic cars have been one of the best performing luxury assets. According to Knightbrand's Luxury Investment Index, the value of these assets has grown by 288% over the last decade. So why are classic cars so popular? The idea of collecting a mode of transport can be traced all the way back to 17th century France, when the creme de la creme of society would gather to judge their horse-drawn carriages. But Carl Benz's development of the first true practical automobile in 1885 revolutionized the way people traveled. And it wasn't long before cars replaced carriages at these events. Come test the 57 Rambler at your nice dealer, at your Hudson dealer. Collecting these assets is still popular today, attracting wealthy car lovers from Italy to Kenya who can dish out as much as $48 million on a single car. These collectors tend to join exclusive car clubs and gather at various events called Concours d'Elegance, which is French for Competition of Elegance. Hey guys, welcome to my uh, Triumph Stag channel. More recently, classic car enthusiasts have also built communities online, showing off your collections on social media platforms such as YouTube. I want an inside look at this exclusive world, so I've come to meet up with Luke Madden, the events director at one of London's classic car events, the City Concord. What brings everyone together really is the kind of, it's the passion. A lot of people will know each other just from coming to these events, They're sitting down, having a glass of champagne and talking about what they love, which is classic cars. One man who shares this passion is multimillionaire Roger Dudden, who claims to own the largest collection of classic cars in Europe. I know it looks like I'm in a regular old garage, but don't be fooled. It holds Roger's $49 million collection of more than 400 classic cars, which he has been amassing for more than 50 years. If I see something I like, yes. and it appeals to me, and I can afford to buy it, I bought it. I like things mechanical and that's what attracted me, I think, to cars and motorcycles in the first instance. And so at the time I was 16, I had my first motorcycle, which I had built at home. Yeah, actually, so my car, uh, when I got outside, it will show you the stars of when I was born. Wow. I think that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> and Dudden is not alone. His cars are so popular that they've been featured in many films and television shows like Peaky Blinders, Bohemian Rhapsody, Downton Abbey, The Crown, Mary Poppins and more. So what makes these cars so special? It's the design function with classic cars as opposed to most modern present day motor vehicles really all come out of a similar jelly mould. At the start of the 20th century, cars were relatively expensive and unaffordable for the masses. Many of the cars created during this time, like this 1912 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost, were stylish, bespoke and of limited supply. In 1908, the first Ford Model T rolled off the factory line, making it the first mass-produced and affordable car. But Ford wasn't the only low-cost manufacturer. General Motors CEO Alfred Sloan famously wanted to create a car for every purse and purpose, with GM Chevrolet brand leading the charge in the low-cost segment. Perhaps even more importantly to classic car lovers, GM also invented the yearly model change. Unlike the Model T, which was produced for 19 years, GM rolled out a new version of its vehicles annually. Their release became highly anticipated national events. In the 1930s, GM's market share of cars in the US overtook Ford's, and it wasn't long before car ownership reached over 80% of American families. In the 1970s, many economies were flourishing, pushing up car ownership rates worldwide. The boom of the Japanese automotive industry during that period helped fuel that growth. The situation at the pumps worsened today. New Yorkers who can get gas are now paying on the average of 96.5 for a gallon of regular. But an oil energy crisis in 1973 caused fuel prices to skyrocket and spared change in the automotive industry. Automobile manufacturers reacted to this change by focusing more on the practical aspects of the car, like safety and efficiency, rather than just the style. With mass production, it's much simpler to turn a motor car out like a sausage without a great deal of individual styling, which keeps the price down, 
therefore makes cars very, very affordable. Collectors like Roger are nostalgic for the stylish bespoke cars produced in the 20th century. When selecting their ideal classic car, these collectors tend to look out for the car's make and history. Also important is the condition of the parts of the car, such as the engine and the interior. They're also looking for lower mileage and, of course, rarity. These factors determine the market price for a classic car. The global classic car collection industry is estimated to be worth between $21 and $24 billion. The United States is the world's largest market for classic cars. It generated revenues of $863 million, more than four times as much as the United Kingdom and continental Europe. The Ferrari was the top performing car and brought in revenues of $158 million. The Porsche came in second with $55 and the Aston Martin drew in $40. But Dudden's wealth hasn't grown from investing in classic cars. In fact, if you want to make a quick buck, you might want to think twice about investing in these assets. The classic car market hit a stumbling block in 2018 when it saw a 1% decline in value over the past year. Experts attribute this decline to the number of speculative investors leaving the market. Changing demographics have also contributed to the decline. Baby boomers, who have more spending power, are leaving the market because of global uncertainties in age, which means they can no longer drive. Despite this, many car enthusiasts like Roger are still excited about collecting cars. It's not just about the money for them. Sometimes it's the story behind the cars. It's for this reason Roger bought the late Princess Diana's 1994 Audi Cabriolet and Dodi Fiat's Aston Martin Lagonda Wedge for undisclosed amounts. He also splashed more than $82,000 on a bespoke Rolls Royce Wraith made in honor of George Martin. It very much is for the love of cars and also the heritage of that car. This, I think, almost brings this piece of metal back to life. Thank you so much for watching my video. Comment below and tell me what you've learned about classic cars. And don't forget to subscribe.